Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh my goodness. Happy Thursday. Y'all know what we call it, Friday Eve. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and, we gl and we're glad. And oh, what a beautiful morning it is. A sunny morning this morning. The last few mornings have been overcast and cloudy. But you know what it said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This is a beautiful morning here in the 757. I'm Gigi. Uh, come on, get your walk on this morning. You have no excuse here in the 757. It is a glorious morning, a glorious morning. Well, this morning, oh my goodness, I just want to encourage somebody this morning. My uh, Jim Nugget, I'm kind of stealing from um, Barack Obama. Yes, we can, but I'm gonna add something to it. Yes, we can, because God is with us. He is with us. Yes, we can. I was reading a story this morning about when, uh, you know, uh, Moses was getting ready to go into the promised land and he had sent the spies out and 12 spies and uh, 10 of them came back and said oh yes surely the land is flowing with milk and honey there's fruit there's there's grapes and stuff bigger than our heads but you know it's giants in the land and yeah there were big people they they were giants but the part that that really put the doubt was when they said we are like grasshoppers you know, we are like grasshoppers um, in their eyes. Now, how did they know how the people saw them? But they, they saw themselves as grasshoppers. And they said, no, we can't go in there. We can't take the land. But I like what Caleb said in Numbers, the 13th chapter and the 30th verse. He said, it says, then Caleb silenced the people. And Caleb stilled the people. I mean, he got them to be quiet, all this ruckus, uh, before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it. For we are, he said, well able to overcome it. Did you hear that word? We are well able to overcome it. And then they were murmuring, they were murmuring, they were murmuring. But later on, in Numbers 14 and 9, and this is my favorite verse here. He said, only rebel not ye against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land. This part always fascinated me. For they are bread for us. Their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not fear them not they are bread for us not only can we well overtake it they are not going to devour us we may look like grasshoppers in their eyes that maybe they can devour us but no we will devour them they are bread for us they are even sustenance for us they are life for us we can go in and the reason that we can go in because the lord is with us he said their defense is departed from them god ain't with them but god is with us they are bread for us and fear them not there's that's good news for somebody because see we're you may be up against a giant a giant situation and we it appears that we are grasshoppers in the face of this giant um, situation uh, that we're in the middle of. But remember what Caleb said, if God is with us, yes, we, we can. Not that we can, we are well, oh my God, able to overcome whatever situation. And on top of that, they are bread for us. They are gonna be the sustenance that giant, that situation that we're up against. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that this morning. I need that myself because they are bread 
for us. Yes, we can. Yes, uh, former President Barack Obama, because I know when he was running, he was probably saying this situation is like a giant. But he said, yes, we can. We can say the same thing today. Whatever situation that we're coming up against, whether we're talking about whether we're talking about sickness and conflicts and situations and, 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 and lack of uh, maybe uh, it might be in poverty, we might be uh, broke, busted and disgusted. Yes, we can overcome it because God is with us. Oh my good, a lot of traffic on the road this morning. But God is with us. I want you. I want y'all to hear that. And and the thing I just love that part. For they are bread for us. Oh, we can devour them. We can eat them up. We can eat up that situation because they are bread for us. I just gotta read that one more one more time. So only rebel. No, don't go against what God is doing. Only rebel not ye against the Lord. Neither fear ye the people of the land come on now for they are bread for us i just can't get away from that part their defense is departed from them and the lord is with us fear them not i'm about to shout out here on this uh, sidewalk here as i'm walking but they are bread for us yes we can because he is with us oh my gosh i just can't I just can't get away from that. Well, <laughs> uh, subscribe to the Gym Nugget channel. We are now at 25,000 subscribers and counting. It is growing. Oh my goodness. You know, when we first started coming on, we said, oh wow, this is something, this is new territory uh, for us. But God has been with us. And you know, God has been with us in another way. You know, has been with Grace Entwined Ministries. You know what? We are getting ready to celebrate, oh my God, our 12th anniversary coming up on November the 9th. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a celebration breakfast. Oh my goodness. Our theme is a brothering thing. See? when we came together, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. You know, 12 is the uh, number of government and it took us to come together in order for Grace and Twine Ministry to now be in existence for 12 years to God be the glory. It looked like at first that we weren't going to be able to bring this thing together, but God was with us. God was with us, and we're getting ready to celebrate. Even when we moved in to our building uh, to purchase it uh, about two years ago, God was with us. Oh my goodness. Well, we just I just want to invite you. It's going to be a celebration on Saturday. November the night at 9 a.m. because it's going to be a celebration breakfast. Yes, the theme is it's a brothering thing. Last year was a praise thing. It's always a praise thing. But this year it's a brothering thing. And we have a special messenger. He is Minister Corey Jones um, from Calvary Revival Center under the leadership of Bishop Courtney Macbeth. This is a young man, he's a family man, and he is the leader of a group called Bra. I love this. Brothers rising up healed. Yeah, brethren, we all rising up healed through the power of Jesus Christ. But he is coming to be our messenger. I know the Lord is gonna bless him as he brings forth that message. And we're gonna have a delicious, delicious breakfast. You won't be able to beat it anywhere because our Grace and Twine Ministry family, one of our trustees is even gonna have some good old hot fish. I can't even get over that part. 
gonna have some good old hot fish along with some oh my gosh it's gonna be an awesome breakfast now the cost of the breakfast is $25 if you're gonna attend for adults and for children ages 1 to 17 it's gonna be $15 and if you want to be a blessing um, uh, to uh, Grace and Twine Ministry uh, you can also bless us with an anniversary gift of a hundred and twenty dollars and because it's 12 y'all had to put the 12 we got to put the 12 in there a hundred and twenty dollars and you can send that donation whether for the breakfast donation of 25 for adults 15 or the anniversary gift to grace and twine ministries dot com and or our cash app gym gifts we are so excited we are just counting down oh you know it's right after the election after november 5th then it's our anniversary on november the 9th this is just so exciting because god has been truly come on and come on and celebrate we would love you to celebrate with us but you got to get this in soon because our space is limited we can get about 50 people in there, but it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful um, celebration, and you don't want to miss it. And again, if you can't come, maybe you, you live somewhere else, um, uh, consider uh, blessing us with an anniversary gift of $120. Again, you can do that at graceandtwineministries.com or Jim Gifts. And we always do what we call a special gym award. We award one of our faithful, committed gym family members. It's always a surprise. The person does not know it until the day of the anniversary. It's a real pretty award too, along uh, with a, uh, um, a monetary um, gift as well. So it, it's just so exciting. So it's a brethren thing. It's our 12th anniversary of Grace and Twine Ministries. Oh my goodness. Just giving thanks to the Lord for he is good and his mercy endures to all generations. Oh my goodness. And tonight is Thursday. Y'all know what that means. It's life study. Pastor James E. Gilmore Sr. Yeah, that's my boo. He's going to lead life study because life study is where we not only study the Word of God, but we are continuously learning how to apply it to our everyday life. So join my husband, uh, Pastor James E. Gilmore Sr. tonight at 7 p.m. Um, on the Jim Nugget channel and Facebook book live i'm excited i'm excited because yes we can <laughs> because the lord is with us have a blessed day bye